I am excited to see this phone, and I'm sure other people are too, because it's been delayed and then delayed again. Yes, and it was delivered through the Matrix because it's the one. We had to get yeah, totally. It's like, we had to actually get this from our Cena editors in New York because it's so hard to get our hands on it. So it might not be, and I tell you this because I know how you are about unboxings, it may not be the most original packaging ever, but whatever, the phone is in there. This arrived moments ago. I know, get it out. Yeah, just maybe tear it. Mayday. I like how I pulled the knife out and then didn't even use it. But it's good that you left it open so you can cut yourself. Hi. Here we go. Hello. Ready? Yep. Oh, oh look. See, I love this though because they wrapped it all up for us. There. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. It's metal. Oh, I see. So it's been used, but. No, whatever. The back oh my is gosh. metal. Oh my yes. god, I feel it. It's so cold and nice. It is. It's like the embrace of an android. Ooh. Remember when phones had metal backs? Yeah, this is really cool looking. Yeah. It says Beats Audio on the back. It has Beats Audio. Previously, like an HP only thing. It's light. It's light. It's so gorgeous. Should we turn it on? Yeah, turn it on. Oh my god. I, I actually, I'm having a hard time getting over how nice this phone feels in your hand. Like it is pimp. Quietly brilliant. <laughs> That's what it says. Oh, I, I thought you just came up with that. I was like, huh, wow, she's really <laughs> drinking the Kool-Aid on this one. She's really marketing the heck out of this phone. <laughs> oh, oh, lots to say. It is sort of, though, this is a moonshot for HTC because they've been losing so much ground to Samsung yeah. in the Android uh, market. Okay, let's see what else is in the box. Oh, international charger because we have the unlocked edition. It looks like the headphones are like Beats Audio Red. Oh, the power brick. Power brick. Okay, fine. Branded. And, of course, a USB cable. Yep. Micro USB charging. You know how I love that. Standards, yay. And then our kind of pretty... These, I would presume, should sound a little better than usual since they're... You hope so, if the Beats, Beats audio. audio branding. But you never know. We'll try that later. For now, it's all about what's on the inside of this phone. The HTC One has a 4.7-inch full HD, that is 1080p LCD display, at 468 pixels per inch. Thank you, Apple, for getting us interested in that spec. It has a 1.7 gigahertz quad-core Snapdragon processor, and it runs Android Jelly Bean. The base model comes with 32 gigs of internal storage, or you can upgrade to a 64 gig version. There's two gigs of RAM to power that quad-core processor. It has a micro USB 2.0 port and a high definition video link for USB or HDMI, although the HDMI requires a special cable. The front facing camera is a pretty impressive 2.1 megapixels. The rear facing camera is just 4 megapixels, but they're doubling down on the sensor. We know that megapixels aren't always the most important. And that camera is capable of 1080p full HD video recording. T-Mobile, AT&T and Sprint are all supported, but at launch at least, Verizon isn't. The 32 gig model will cost $199 with a new contract, and the 64 gig model will be $299. Okay, so everything about this phone is the hotness. The metal it's back is beautiful. totally nice. Like the performance seems super snappy. But, and I can't believe I'm gonna say this because the screen is 4.7 inches, but I'm just looking at it thinking, I wish it were a little bigger. That's amazing. I can't believe we've gotten to the point where a 4.7 inch screen is tiny for you. I'm it's just like, a phablet eh, fan, too I guess. small. I mean, I don't, I don't think anybody else is going to feel that way. It's super light. It's super beautiful. The processor's amazing. I like how it stands out from a crowd, too. That back yes. and just the, the design really says it's a unique phone. Yeah, it looks like something special. I'm a little worried about scratching on the back, but we'll, of course, you know torture test it and see, assuming that it ever comes out so that we and you can buy it. Yes. That's the biggest concern with this phone. Well, that does help in order to get that it. That helps. When it does, I think they have a contender, though. Look out, Galaxy S4. Yeah. I'm just saying. Impressive phone.